it's me, Renee. I'm back. So, I decided in these times that we're living in, kind of difficult times, I decided I wanted to, again, spread some joy. Well, I suppose I think I usually do that. I don't really rant so much, and if you rant, it's so fun. But yeah. Um. So, I'm doing the positive book tags. No, no, sorry. The positive. Yeah, the positive book tag. No, it's. <laughs> yeah. That's how it happens. Uh, it was created three years ago, actually. So it's just created a long time, well, some time ago. So it wasn't created in collaboration with the ties we live in. But I felt like it was a good tag to do now, to spread joy and positivity. Uh, yeah, it was created by the bookie. I'll link her original tag in the doo doo And, um, yeah, let's start. Well, the first prompt is book with a positive meaning. Again, well, not supposed to not again, but like here. I mean, good that you make tags. I suppose good that people don't make tags that are too boring and easy and stuff. But book with a positive meaning. Isn't that every book ever? Well, I suppose it depends on what you read. But I, at least for me, the books that I read really have positive meanings. They have a good moral. They have like. A ending or a message like positivity. So choosing is a bit hard, but of course I do end up choosing something. I end up going with things a bright girl can do. This one actually has several positive meanings. It's about suffragettes in the early 1900s in England, so it's about equality and women's rights. That's a positive meaning. It's about uh, sexuality and being lesbian and being queer and, you know, being happy with yourself and loving who you love. Uh, that's a positive meaning. It's also about education. One of the characters, there's several different characters in this book, and one of the characters wants to go to Oxford. She's uh, rich, so she has the money to do it, she has the means. Yes, her parents are like, no, no, you're female, you should get a husband, you can't get an education. Yet she kind of wants both. That's kind of stupid. Uh, so yeah, it's also the positivity of like being uh, ambitious and wanting to get be educa educated. And there's also the positivity of one of the characters is pacifistic. So that's a good message, you know, you know? Violence is not the answer, not now, not ever. And yeah, all of this has tons of positive messages. Uh, and yeah, some aspects of it is like, oh my god, I'm just so shook. Like, raw emotion. But some chapters in it, it just makes you laugh so much and smile. And it's just this book, this book, people. I cannot recommend it enough. If you want a new book to read during these hard times, pick it up. It's one of the best books ever in existence. It's so damn good. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, let's move on to the prompts, really. <laughs> it's not going to be crazy wrangling. No, that's not going to happen. Uh, so, yeah. Prompt number two. A character that is always happy, sometimes annoyingly so. Yeah. Again, uh, a lot of the characters that I read are happy. Oh, I was, sorry, I was a bit quick there. Uh, a lot of the characters that I read, uh, some of them are sassy, but I would say a few of them are like happy all the time. I think characters that are happy all the time is more characters that see movies and TV series. Though, of course, I did end up picking something for it. Pot, that's what I say. What I picked was. A bit of a dark horse, but Grand Masur from Stephanie Flum series. Yes, a few times she's not happy, but for the most part she's just very crazy and happy and cheerful and yeah, and uh, she also puts a smile on my face, even though her husband is dead, even though she's a pensioner, she's still so happy and joyful and full of life, and yeah. Grandma Mazur, she's really, really something, really, really something. Yes, 
a book that makes you feel good at every read. So you like a book that you makes makes you feel good every time you reread it. Uh, yeah, of course. This is another uh, prompt that's like, how do you choose? Like, you kind of have to choose from your favorite books. At least I kind of interpret that is. So like, that's how it would be for me. But I end up going with an oldie but goodie. The Manager Series by Meg Habit, or as it says, a book. I'm going for the first book in the series. To love, you lo love you to death, because this is the first book. I love you to death. It has like, it introduces you to stuff, but it's not like high on the intensity, it's not high in conflict because it's so early in the series, so it's not really established anything to it's just established stuff. It's not like, there's no big climax where like, oh my god, no, not dead, oh, let's not argue, and we're arguing. No, oh, it's just, it's building up stuff, and it's building up stuff. And yeah, I really like this first book of the series, it's so good. And also, the whole series is very good. And just, I suppose, a short summary. Uh, this one, I think, goes to whisper, but a teenager, and more success. And, yeah, just very, very good. And uh, North Carolina, Warm, and Beaches, and Sunny. And yeah, check it out. It's so, so good. Well, question, prompt, what have you. A book where I... Ah, a book recovered and makes you happy whenever you see it. I compl completely forgot about this one. I jumped over it. Okay, let me check out which cover am I so happy about. There's lots of fun, nice covers in my collection. Let me see. Home, 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 home. Uh, don't you really want to choose things that you use all the time? You know what? Yeah, you know what? So like recently, but I'm gonna go with it. Oh, am I? Am I gonna go with something? No, you know what? No. I have a plan. I'm gonna go with yeah. I'm back. Hey. Oh. So yeah. Um. I would say in a way more or less all the Squidward the Presents uh, series. But yeah, I think maybe especially this one because you have lots of colors. There's lots of stuff happening, and yeah. Uh, I would say this makes me happy when I see it. It does. Among other books as well. But yeah, this is one of them. So it was, yeah, it's just a really cool cover. And stuff happening on the back side. I really also enjoy how all of Skologic Pleasant books, like some books, they have like a cover. Not a cover. All books have a cover. But some books have like a established, established, they have a detailed cover. And then the back is just a summary, nothing else. But all these Skologic Pleasant series, have like always stuff on the back as well. So they have like a short summary and then also stuff happening after that. So I really enjoy that. So, so yeah, on this one. It's just so eye catching. All the colors and all the stuff that's happening. And uh, yeah, I really enjoy it. As I would, of course, what else would I name it here? And then the question is a series that's all time favorite. Again, I have a lot of favorite series. I kind of like to mix stuff up and not always talk about the same books. But I suppose after a while it gets difficult to not talk about some books over and over again. But I think I think it's been a hot minute since I talked about these books. Well, I suppose maybe just a few videos. Anyway, I'm going with The Darker Past. Sorry, The Darker Days Agency. Dark Days Agency by Jess Accardo. So it's the first book, Darker Days, and then second one, A Darker Past, and then there's supposed to be a third book, which is not out yet or written, but Jessica Cowder, she says on Facebook that she's supposed to, she's still not going to write it, she just hasn't gone to, gotten around to it. So uh, hopefully that happens soon, because yeah, this series, it's so good, so good. Thank you, Veronica Marsh, Max, Match, my love. Mixed with Supernatural, and you got it, more or less. Well, I don't know, I haven't seen Supernatural, so I'm not sure how how 
um, how true that is, that is. But I love Veronica Marsh, and this gives me really Veronica Marsh feelings. So, yeah. What type, well, next, next prompt. Some of these are like more questions than books. What type of book do you read when you need cheering up? Honestly, also, this was kind of difficult for me because some people say, like, oh, if I need to cheer you up, I'll go to this author or I'll go to this genre. For me, I don't really. I can't really think of something to answer here. Though I think, like, sometimes I might, like, if I don't need cheering up, if I just wanted to read something, then I might pick up non fiction, I might pick up a long book, I might pick up a book that's out of my comfort zone. But if I want to be cheered up, I'm going to pick up a book, yeah, a big book that I know is funny, like either it's about a, either it's about a funny author or it's, um, or maybe it's a reread, so I know it's going to be funny. I want a book that's not too raw and emotional, so not like a book with like this lots of heaviness and rape and sexuality, well, sexuality is good, but like, not, I don't want rape or murder or stuff like that in a book where I want to be cheered up. And some probably not high fancy then. And also, um, humor. And, yeah, and that it has a happy ever after. I suppose normally I don't really pick up books that have, don't have HGAs ever. But like, I might do that if I don't need cheering up. If I need cheering up, I'm going to have something humorous and levity and good and just cheerful. So, yeah, I suppose that could be a romance, but it could also be like a contemporary. It could be a middle grade, like, I suppose it could be different stuff, really. I don't really have a concrete answer there. Sorry. Sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, let's move on. I suppose I could always just, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna link a video self promotion in a doo which I did earlier on books that make me happy. So, that's kind of what it. Just answer this one really, bit say really, and then prompt number seven: a third person to what buddy read with. Don't really have a specific person to do it really, with really. Um, I buddy read people with, but read people. <laughs> I buddy read with people on Goodreads now and then. I did it more before, but I still do it now and then. But I don't really, I can't really say how third person to do it with it. it just whoever really. Whoever wants to do it, or let's do it. I'm not really that. I haven't really been that much of a. Uh, have haven't been that much specific in like I need to about read with you and you and not you and you. It's just whatever about read. It's funny. Well, most of the time it is. So yeah, I don't really have a good answer there, really. No one and everyone. Yep. Yeah, let's go to next. A character which with this short end of stick that doesn't yeah, doesn't let it get him down. So you yeah, a character that always gets in trouble and always gets the yeah, short end of stick, but doesn't stop. Rose from Vampire Academy. As what say like spoilers, but it's all serious, but slightly spoilers. Well, it is slightly spoilers. There's no uh, quote air quotes about it. But yeah. Uh, so she has a bad relationship with her mom. Her dad is non-existent, or like he exists, but he's not in her life at all. She has no siblings to uh, argue with, or like to exist together with. Because I think, at least for me, I think sometimes part of why what makes my life sometimes good and nice is like to have siblings to talk about, like because siblings are one of the only people who can really know you because they know like your your childhood and like what's really uh what what's really bugging you and what's really like you and yeah I don't know uh, and yeah and Rose so Rose has a bad family issue fam relationship situation old words she has it bad at school because she's bad at maths relatability but yeah uh she also has uh, concentration issues and authority issues as was this is kind of like her fault, but yeah. Uh, she has she gets bullied sometimes at school, so that's not cool. She also gets the bullying like everywhere else in society because dumpires are not looked up and up upon. So 
so yeah, that's not cool. Uh, so yeah, stuff is set against her. Does she give up? Oh no, she does not. She just, she just keeps on going, keeps on going, and uh, yeah. The next prompt, of course, that happened here. Yeah, there. The next prompt is the next to last one. A favorite character that started bad but ends up good. Here, I'm not so sure because I don't really like that much bad boys in books so much, really. Uh, but I decided to go with surprise, surprise, Adrian Ivasco from Vampire Academy. I suppose he doesn't start bad, but he's not. He's not picture perfect either. He's kind of on a. I would say he's on a wild side of it. It's a. Let's take a take a walk on the wild side. Hey, Adrian, take a walk on the wild side. Yeah. So yeah. Um. But yeah. In the end, he's from re redeemed from all the stuff that he does. And uh, yeah, he's a nice, nice character. And then the last question is a favorite love story. Again. The bookie created this tag. I mean, are you just torturing me? How, how, how am I supposed to choose a favorite love story? How, how do you suggest to do that? I mean, there's love stories in most of my favorite stories. How should I choose? It's impossible. So, you know what? Here, I'm gonna cheat. Bam back at me and many a tour. And to not be spoiled, I'm not gonna say anything else about who it is. But yeah, the love stories in this series, both the series, are just so perfect, so good. Just fills me with joy, fills me with raw emotion and happiness and angst, anxiety, and just all the feels, all the feels. And um I suppose that's more or less it this day. I hope you enjoyed this day. I hope you enjoy seeing me being crazy fangirl me. And I'll talk to you later. This is me, Sangrene, out.